Sometimes, the only thing better than scoring a goal is watching a world-class save. From last-minute heroics to jaw-dropping reflexes, these are the miracle saves by goalkeepers in the game. And first up, Iker Casillas made the noisiest stadium in Europe go quiet for seconds. In 2009, Real Madrid faced Liverpool in the Champions League round of 16. But in reality, Iker Casillas was facing a firing squad. See, Madrid lost the first leg 1-0, meaning they had to win the second or they'd be out. And Liverpool was prepared to make it hard for Los Blancos. From the off, Liverpool kept hitting shot after shot on goal, and the only reason Madrid wasn't 5-0 down at halftime was Casillas. Now, he made a couple of stunning saves all game, but this one's the pick of the bunch. Tipped it onto the post, and the Anfield crowd couldn't believe it. What a save! Casillas isn't the only old-timer on the list making jaw-dropping saves. This next dude pulled this off in the Champions League final. The 2015 Champions League Final, Juventus vs. Barcelona. For Gianluigi Buffon, this one meant more, because he was part of the team that lost the final 12 years back in 2003. So getting to this stage now, all he wanted to do was win, and he gave everything. Barca had taken a 2-1 lead when they launched another attack, and as Luis Suarez got to the Juve half and cut the ball back, Danny Alves hit it first time on target, and this one should have gone in for three. But the keeper did this. What a save! For context, Buffon made this save when he was 35. No way you're that old and making reflexes like this. Amazing! Goalies like Buffon and Casillas made instinct reflex saves look great, but goalies like Joe Hart? That's different gravy! The Manchester Derby of 2008, and Hart was in goal for City. Coming into the 90th minute, they were losing the game 1-0. And because of how desperate his team was, Joe Hart decided to go up for the corner to try and bag the equalizer for his team. But let's just say it backfired, and City got caught on the counter. Hart was racing back when Ryan Giggs played in his teammate Wayne Rooney. And without even thinking about it, Rooney decided to let it rip from the halfway line, an angled one that was bound for goal. Until Hart somehow managed to pull this off. The heck? Whoa! Hart didn't just run the length of the field back to his goal, he still managed to get something on Rooney's effort to stop it from going in. Damn! I thought Hart's save racing back to his goal was the craziest one I'd seen, until I saw Jordan Archer. Aight, so here's the thing. Jordan Archer was rocking up for Millwall in a championship when they faced Barry in what was supposed to be a normal match. But with minutes to the end of the first half, a moment of chaos sparked up the game into life. Millwall had sniffed out a Barry attack way upfield when Mark Beavers decided to pull off a back pass to his goalie Jordan Archer. The only problem was he overhit the pass and had Archer on the spot. Nah, I don't think you know just how crazy this save is. See, Beavers is Archer's teammate, meaning his overhit ball to his goalie counts as a back pass, and it's against the rules for goalies to catch a back pass from their teammates, meaning if not for Archer's quick thinking, his teammate would have scored one of the most insane own goals of all time. Archer, man, hats off. He rescued a bro. Archer's save was insane. But he wasn't making double saves like my man Jordan Pickford. Jordan Pickford has to be the most controversial goalie in English history, and that's a fact. I mean, the guy has been England's starting goalie for the past two World Cups. This still isn't enough to make people like him that much. I mean, he's legit nicknamed Dinosaur Arms. In 2022, Pickford was repping his Everton team when they faced Chelsea in a must-win game. See, Everton was battling relegation, meaning to beat the drop, they simply had to take all three points against Chelsea at home. And Pickford must have been up for this one, because he had his game face on, and game gloves too. But well, you don't have to take this from me, Cesar's face says everything about this one. A double save in seconds, amazing! Pickford's double save helped Everton hang on to a 1-0 win. Dinosaur Arms won! 
If you think this is crazy, you've got to check out this MLS legend's stunning save that set a league record. In 2015, Luis Robles was playing for the New York Red Bulls when they faced Portland Timbers away from home in a tricky game. From the start, the home fans were behind their team, meaning Robles and his defense were busy as the minutes went by. But they were still in the game thanks to some Robles heroics. Portland Timbers won a free kick, and as Diego Valeri placed the ball down, he had only one thing on his mind, and that was hitting the bottom left-hand corner with this one. But as he struck it, it didn't quite go over the wall, and looked like it had deflected its way into the back of the net, until Robles said no. The first save was crazy, using one hand to stop it from going in, but the second save to deny the goal from close range was amazing! That week, Robles won the MLS Save of the Week by 55.23%, and the dude in second, Nick Rimando, had 25.1% of the votes, a landslide win. Double saves are insane, I know, but wait till you see this triple save from Jan Oblak. Now, Oblak needs no introduction. He's one of the best goalkeepers of his generation. I mean, seriously, this dude could save the planet if he needed to. In 2017, Oblak and Atletico Madrid were playing Bayer Leverkusen in a Champions League group stage game, and Oblak knew the importance of getting all three points at home if they wanted to qualify from the group, so he made sure he was up for this one, and minutes later, his insane reflexes were put to the test. Leverkusen launched an attack into the Atletico Madrid half, and once they were through on goal, Oblak made sure he let them know why he's one of the best in the business. Three saves in less than five seconds! That's gotta be a record somewhere. Oblak's top tier, but I bet Allison Becker can rival him for world-class saves, especially after making saves like the one from 2019. Coming into Liverpool's final group stage game of 2018-19, they had a lot riding on it. See, they were in a group that also had PSG and Napoli in it, and with PSG having already qualified, Liverpool and Napoli's game was a battle of who was going to go through. Salah scored first to give Liverpool the lead, and right after that moment, it became nervy. Liverpool had managed to hold on until the final whistle, when Napoli got one final chance. A cross into the box, and the ball fell kindly for Threes Mertens. And once he was one-on-one -on -one with Allison, time kinda stood still. All Napoli needed was a point to qualify, and with seconds left, they knew now that if they scored, it'd be over. And Allison knew this too, that's why he pulled this off. That has to be the most important save of Allison's career. Liverpool went on to win the Champions League that season. Legendary stuff. But now, guys, it's on to the top two. And just before number one, Samir Hadanovic pulled off a save so crazy that even his ops were impressed. Inter Milan versus Atalanta in 2015. Both teams needed a win for different reasons. At the time, Atalanta wasn't what they are now. They were battling with relegation and knew they simply had to win. And Inter Milan needed to win in their chase for the top. With seconds left to play, the game was tied at 1-1 when Atalanta got one final chance at goal. Luca Cigarini was at point-blank range, and his goal should have fired Atalanta in front. But with a baseball cap on his head, Samir Hadanovic pulled off the incredible save of the year. Should have been save of the list too, but there's no way this one's topping number one on the list when David Seaman defied gravity. Seaman was playing for Arsenal when they faced Sheffield United in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, and this was his ultimate chance to sign off on a high. Seaman was determined to lead his FA Cup team to the final of the FA Cup, but first, they had to beat Sheffield United. Paul Pesci Solido wasn't going to make it easy. Minutes before the end of the first half, Pesci Solido got the ultimate chance. From a corner, the Arsenal defense failed to clear the ball properly, and Pesci Solido knew all he needed to do was get contact on the ball and he'd be guaranteed a goal. So he directed the header on target and already started turning to celebrate when David Seaman did the impossible. 
He made the save at 39! Damn! What a guy. He's a keeper, man. Plus, he loves Goalzone, too. A legend.